Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at how area and perimeter of a dilated figure are affected. So what we're going to do is we are going to find the perimeter area of original figures and then we will find the perimeter and area of new figures and see if we notice a pattern. So let's find the perimeter and area of this one by three rectangle. The perimeter would be one plus three plus one plus three, which is eight. So our perimeter is eight. Our original perimeter is eight. And then our original area would be found by doing length times width or one times three, which is three. So our original area is three. All right, now we are going to dilate this figure by a scale factor of two. So we're gonna multiply everything by two. So our new side lengths are gonna be two and six. So our new perimeter will be two plus six plus two plus six, which is 16. So our new perimeter is 16. And remember our original perimeter was eight. So we went from eight to 16 and the scale factor was two. So how many times bigger is the new perimeter? The new perimeter is 16, the original one was eight, so that means it is two times bigger. Okay, let's do the same thing with our area. Our new area, we will do two times six, which is 12. So our original area was three, and our new area is 12. So to figure out how much bigger the new area is, I will do 12 divided by three, and I get four. So let's think about that for a minute with our scale factor. The scale factor was two, our perimeter was two times bigger, and the area was four times bigger. So think about if you see any patterns, and we're gonna do this with another shape and see if those patterns hold true. So here is another set of shapes. This is our original shape, and this is gonna be our new one that we will dilate by a scale factor of three. Let's find our original perimeter and original area. First, I will find the original perimeter by doing two plus two plus two plus two, which is eight. And then I'll find the new area by doing two times two, which is four. So our original perimeter is eight and our original area is four. Let's see how those change whenever I dilate this figure by a scale factor of three. So now my sides of this square are going to be six and six because two times three is six. So to find my new perimeter, I'll do six plus six plus six plus six, which is 24. So original perimeter was eight. I dilated by a scale factor of three and now my new perimeter is 24. It says how many times bigger is the new perimeter? To figure that out, I'll do 24 divided by eight, which is three. So the new perimeter is three times bigger. Let's do the same thing with the area. To find my new area, I will do six times six which is 36. So original area was four, we dilated by a scale factor of three, and now the new area is 36. It says how many times bigger is the new area? To figure that out, I will do the new area, 36, divided by the original area, four. And 36 divided by four is nine. So the scale factor was three, our new perimeter was three times as big, and our new area was nine times as big. So let's see if we can generalize the pattern. To find a new perimeter of a dilated figure, we multiply the original figure by the scale factor.
whenever we found our new perimeter, it was always the scale factor times as big. Like here, the perimeter was 16. That was twice as big when the scale factor was two. Here, the perimeter was three times as big and the scale factor was three. So if you ever have to find a new perimeter, instead of multiplying and going through finding this, you can just take the original perimeter and multiply it by the scale factor. So to find new perimeter, you take the original perimeter, multiply it by the scale factor. Okay, the area pattern is a little bit harder to see, but there is a pattern there. So I went from two and then my new area was four times as big. And then my scale factor was three and the new area was nine times as big. So to find your new area, what you do is you take the original area and you multiply it by the scale factor squared. So to find a new area, you take the original area and multiply it by the scale factor squared. All right, now that we know these patterns, we can answer some questions. One says a trapezoid is dilated by a scale factor of 10. How will the perimeter of the new trapezoid be affected? Well, remember the new perimeter is just the original perimeter times the scale factor. So it will just be the scale factor times bigger and the scale factor is 10. So it will be 10 times bigger. And then remember the area is the scale factor squared times bigger. So how will the new area be affected? It will be 10 squared or 100 times bigger. Okay, number two, it says a parallelogram is dilated by a scale factor of 0 0.4. How will the new perimeter be affected on the new trapezoid? It's just gonna be the scale factor times as big. So it will be 0 0.4 times the original perimeter. And then how will the area of the trapezoid be affected? Remember the area is affected by scale factor squared. So it will be 0 0.4 squared, which let's figure out what that is. Point 0.16 times the original area. Okay, let's look at number three. It says a figure has an area of 20 centimeters squared. It was dilated by a scale factor of 0 0.5. What will you multiply to by to get the new area? So remember to find the new area, we do the original area times the scale factor squared. So to get our new area, we will take our original area and multiply by the scale factor squared. So what will we multiply by? Scale factor squared. So let's figure out what that is. 0 0.5 squared is 0.25. So now let's actually do that to find the new area. I take my original area which was 20 and multiply it by the scale factor squared, which was 0 0.25. And 100 times 0 0.25 is 0.25. All right, so let's do that in the calculator. 20 times 0.25 is five. So the new area would be five centimeters squared. So we multiplied by the scale factor squared and got our new area of five centimeters squared. All right, number four says a figure has a perimeter of 200. It is dilated by a scale factor of three fifths. What will you multiply by to get the new perimeter? 
So remember to find the new perimeter, all we do is multiply by the scale factor. So to get our new perimeter, we take the original perimeter and multiply by the scale factor. And the scale factor here was 3 fifths. So we will just multiply by 3 fifths. So to find our new perimeter, we're going to take the original perimeter, which was 200, and multiply by the scale factor of 3 fifths. And 200 times 3 fifths is 120 feet for the new perimeter. All right, number five, it says a figure has an area of 16 centimeters squared. It is dilated by a scale factor of four. What will you multiply by to get the new area? The new area is the original area times the scale factor squared. So I will multiply by whatever the scale factor squared is. Scale factor is four and four squared is 16. So I'm gonna multiply by 16. So now let's find the new area. I'm gonna take the original area of 16 and multiply it by the scale factor squared, which was also 16. And 16 times 16 is 256 centimeters squared. Okay, number six, it says the scale factor used to dilate the triangle is three. Find the new perimeter. So remember we find the new perimeter by taking our per original perimeter and multiplying it by our scale factor. They gave us this information here. It's just kind of scattered. Here's the original perimeter. It is nine and our scale factor was three. So I'm just gonna do my original perimeter of nine times the scale factor of three to find the new perimeter. And nine times three is 27. So our new perimeter is 27 inches. All right, number seven, it says the scale factor used to dilate the circle is one half, find the new area. So to find a new area, I take my original area and I multiply it by the scale factor squared. So again, they gave me this information. It's just a little scattered. My area is 12 and the scale factor is one half. So original area is 12 and I'm gonna multiply it by one half squared. So 12 times one half squared is three. So our new area would be three centimeters squared. All right, last one, it says, what is the perimeter of the smaller rectangle? So to find a new perimeter, I need to do the original perimeter times the scale factor. So they did give me the original perimeter, it's 27, but they did not give me a scale factor. However, they gave me corresponding sides. And remember, I can find scale factor by doing a new side over an original side. The new side was three, the original side was nine, and that simplifies to one third. So there's the scale factor, one third. So now I'm able to find the new perimeter by doing original perimeter times the scale factor, 27 times one third, and I get nine. So the new perimeter is nine inches.